Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to our virtual science classroom. This is your teacher, that teacher Darrell Mundo, and we are now in the second week of our third quarter. And uh, first, let us all pray this short prayer. Thank you very much. And secretary, do not forget to check the attendance. Count the number of boys and number of girls who are present today. Okay, and send it to our group chat. And the third quarter, week number two, is all about acceleration. So maybe we have a little bit of knowledge about this one. Ito, ito pag sinabi acceleration, alam ka agad nila bumis. Okay, sometimes kapag paparehas nila yung speed and acceleration. Pero ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng acceleration? And we will tackle all about this discussion or topic in this week number two. So acceleration, speeding up, slowing down, and going round and round. So those are the things that we are going to talk about here. So this supplementary learning material will help you, number one, describe motion in terms of acceleration. So not the sa motion, but this time we are going to talk about acceleration. For lesson number two, you will be able to calculate the acceleration of the moving object. So I will give you some examples of computation on how to get the acceleration. But don't you worry, kasi padaling lang po. Okay, so let's just have a look back. So for our looking back, all you have to do is to observe the following diagram below, and all you have to do is to answer all the following questions. Okay, so the situation is letter A, on his way to school, Sherwin walked 100 meters north, 300 meters east, and 100 meters north, and 100 meters east again, and 100 meters north. So disregard the key. It's a question. So this is the diagram, by the way, class. So 100 meters north, 300 meters east, another 100 meters north, another 100 meters east, and 100 meters north. So the questions are, find the total distance traveled by Sherwin. Okay, that is, I know the answer. And then letter B, determine the displacement made by Sherwin. Okay? Mm -hmm. All you have to do is to look at the diagram and look for the clue as well. And another looking back, all you have to do is to calculate the average velocity. So all you have to do is to divide. So for example, a student has a displacement of 304 meters north in 180 seconds. What was the student's average velocity? Okay, I will teach you a strategy. The strategy here is that we know the displacement is 304 meters north and the time is 180 Seconds. So we can use the formula for the average velocity to solve the problem. Okay, so we have average velocity equal to distance divided by time. So yung distance divided by time, ang distance natin, all we have to do is to substitute. So substitute natin yung value. So distance, automatically, that's the meter. So 304 meters north. Uh, by the way, this is not distance, but displacement. Kasi Meron tayong, ano, direction. Very good. So, ito yung number, ito yung unit, ito yung direction. So, this is displacement. Displacement divided by time. So, 304 meters north divided by 180 seconds. All you have to do is to divide it. And the answer? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let us check your answer. The answer is? 1.7 meters per second north. So that is the answer for this question. And all you have to do is to answer the following problems. Problem letter B and problem letter C. Okay, do not forget to answer it on your notebook or you can directly answer it on your module. So for lesson number one, we are going to describe motion in terms of acceleration. So as a brief introduction, if you are 
to choose between a museum gallery, walk, or an amusement park. So, alam niyo, palakad-lakad kayo sa mga museum gallery park. Diba? Usually, itingin kayo ng mga paintings or itingin kayo ng mga nakadisplay doon or an amusement park uh, para Enchanted Kingdom, like Disneyland, something like that. So, which would you choose? I bet you'll go for the amusement park. So, like this one. Okay? Very amusing. So, nowadays, young people love fun, exciting, and thrilling activities such as hiking, swimming, ball games, and even roller coaster ride in any amusement park. Just like you and me, you love to move all the time. That is why you can eat your meal while dancing, right? So, like this one. So, Dada and Dad, that you can see. <laughs> Another one. So, never cease from moving. So, from time to time, we are moving. From the time we wake up and up to the time we are going to sleep. So, it's either you are moving so fast or you slow down or sometimes listening to your favorite K-pop music while sitting on a rotating chair. You will nod your hair, you will stop your feet, and you will move your fingers, something like that. So, still, you are in motion. So, another one is that in this modern time, as you can see, the car, it shows its acceleration and its velocity. So, in this modern time, driving skills is very essential regardless of gender, age, street, and high waist. So, kahit anong gender mo, kahit anong age mo, usually, dapat talaga makapag uh, maging aware tayo when it comes to driving skills as early as siguro mga 15 years old. So, dapat alam na natin yung mga proper uh, things na kailangan natin gawin when we are driving. So, we should learn from the professionals, we should learn from our parents if we do know how to drive. So, also, streets and highways are filled with different kinds of vehicles, allowing people to move from one place to another in a particular purpose. So, learning how to drive is necessary. Although, mahirap na kayo kumuha ng license, still, it is very important for us to know the etiquette while driving. So, analyze the given comic strip. Then find out what is the most important part of the car that allows the driver to speed up, slow down, or slows down, and turn around corners. So kung meron kayo mga sasakyan sa bahay, you can apply it here. Okay, let's have this comic strip. So, scene number one. What does... What do I use to go? The other one said, the accelerator. Scene number two, what do I use to slow down? The accelerator. Scene number three, what do I use to turn? The accelerator. And scene number four, any other questions? Then the other one replied, who's on first? You know what's next? The accelerator. Okay, so the comic strip, as we can see, it talks about what are the things we should be done in order for us to turn around, to slow down, and to move fast. So as you can see, we have here the accelerator, the another accelerator, and another accelerator. So what is that important part of the car or vehicle that a driver must step onto the speed up or slow down? It is, yes, the accelerator. But wait, let us look at these important components of a car. So if you want to label car parts as scientists would, so you would call gas pedal an accelerator. Yung inaataka natin para mag-release uh, ng gas yung sasakyan because it tends to change the velocity of the car. So you would call the brake pedal also an accelerator because it tends to change the velocity of the car. And you would call the steering wheel an accelerator because it change or it tends to change the velocity of the car as well. It changes its direction. So, yung gas pedal, yung brake pedal, at yung steering wheel are all accelerator. Okay? So, maybe confusing, but we know they have the specific purposes. So gas pedal or gas brake or brake is still to change in direction 
but they are all accelerators. Okay, so always remember that in cars, jeepneys, or buses, accelerates when driver does work on accelerator. But what is acceleration? Using the comic strip above, we can define what acceleration is. Though so acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity. Again, acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity. Velocity changes in three ways. When the object in motion, number one, increase its speed, napabilis. When an object in motion decreases its speed, napabagal yung object. And when the object in motion change its direction, like by moving round circles, yung rotonda, usually nakaya tayo na, di ba? Yung round table na tinatawag, okay, yung rotonda. So please take note that velocity is a vector quantity, meaning number, unit, direction. Example, 10 kilometers per hour northeast. Okay? So that is velocity with direction or velocity is the speed with direction. So for lesson number two, we are going to calculate in this lesson, we are going to learn how to calculate the acceleration. So mathematics is the language of physics. Always remember that. But uh, this is not so difficult because sometimes you can use your calculator at home and at the same time you just have to use division and sometimes multiplication and sometimes addition. That's it. So acceleration is a physical quantity which means it can be measured or counted. It is derived Quantity taken from the combination of fundamental quantities such as distance and time, sometimes displacement and time. So lesson number one introduces us to different way or a way to compute the speed of a moving object. So speed is equal to distance divided by time. So meter per second, speed is meter per second, then yung unit. So kapag ginawa natin siya in simple, m per S. That is meter per second. Ito siya pag binasa. Okay? Ito siya pag sinulat in unit. Okay. Other units are kilometers per hour, miles per hour, centimeters per second, and etc. So, laging kasama yun. Distance over time. So, now, for acceleration, which is the rate of change of motion, and it can be mathematically expressed as this one. Same as speed and velocity. So acceleration is equal to change in velocity divided by elapsed time. So we can say that acceleration is equal to velocity divided by time. So where B is equal to final velocity okay, minus initial velocity. Ito, yung change in velocity natin, yung ating numerator. Okay, para makuha natin yung change in velocity, ima-minus natin yung final velocity, uh, sorry, yung initial velocity to final velocity. So, ano yun? Yung final velocity, ito yung finish line. Kung saan natapos yung paghinto ng object. Initial velocity, kung saan nagsimula umandar yung object. Okay? So, dapat nakuha yung change in velocity. Ayan. Vf, final velocity. Vf, initial velocity. Note, velocity is speed with direction. So, huwag kakalimutan yung direction, direction, direction. Okay? Upward, left, north, east, south. Ayan. So, sample problem. Number one. Vito is driving in his sports car at 30 meters per second. So when he sees a dog on the road ahead, he snaps on his brakes and comes to a stop in 3 seconds. What was the acceleration of this car? Given initial velocity, 30 meters per second, final velocity, 0. Okay? So bigla siyang nag, brake, and then ang time natin is 3 seconds. So Vf minus Vi divided by 
you know, time. So we have 0 minus 30 meters per second that we have divided by 3 seconds. So that is 10 meters per second here. So the car slowed down at the rate of 10 meters per second for every second. So it's a bumagal kasi nag-break siya. Okay? Sabihin na kahinto siya kasi may nakita siyang dog. So ito yung rate ng pagbagal niya. 10 meters per second. Okay? So next sample problem number 2. The ball is rolling with the initial velocity of 25 meters per second. Initial velocity. When a sudden hit strikes the ball that made it to roll over at the velocity of 27 meters per second in 5 seconds. So what is the acceleration of the ball? So again, get the velocity or the change in velocity. We have final velocity of 27 meters per second. We have initial velocity of 25 meters per second. And our elapsed time is 5 seconds. So Vf minus Vi divided by elapsed time. So kailangan lang natin to substitute for the given 27 meters per second minus 25 meters per second divided by 5 seconds. So 27 minus 25, that's 20, or sorry, 2 meters per second divided by 5 seconds. So the acceleration is 0.4 meters per second squared. Dito rin sa kabila. So let's go back. Dito rin class, may squared to. May squared yan. Yeah. So dapat may square. So yan kasi si acceleration. Meters per second square. Dito galing isang second at dito galing isang second. Kaya siya meters per second squared. Okay. So remember, we have sonic here. Acceleration is the change in velocity caused by speeding up, slowing down, or changing direction. An object moving in a circular or circular changes its direction in a pabilog so it accelerates. Acceleration can be measured using the equation this one. Acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity divided by elapsed time or time. Okay? Do not forget that the unit for acceleration is meter per second squared kilometers per hour squared. Okay? Lagi ni squared. Okay, kaintindihan. And at the same time, uh, may iba sinasabi nila pag acceleration that it speeds up, deceleration that is the slowing down. Okay, but still, it can be both. So if you have any questions about our week number two, just look at this video, okay? So these are the things that you need to answer. You can rewatch or you can review the different topics that we had about acceleration for you to answer the following questions in our module. So, kung meron kayong uh, notebook, pwedeng doon na lang kayo sumagot answers only, or you can edit your e-modules. Doon na lang din kayo sumagot at i-feel nyo at i-attach nyo sa ating Google Classroom. So, for lesson number one, answer free test on page two. Pangalawang page, ibig sabihin, Pages 3 to 4 and pages 6 to 8. That is for lesson number 1. For lesson number 2, answer pages page 9, post-test in page 10, and page 11. And if you have any questions or clarifications regarding accelerations, you can message me to my different social media accounts like Facebook, like Instagram, and even in my YouTube channel. So basically, you should... Uh, Message me in my Facebook page, yung teacher da. Huwag din sa uh, personal account ko. Doon kayo magsasend na mga screenshot. Okay? Especially yung mga hangkabol sa mga kanilang um, dapat isubmit. Okay, so, kung meron din kayong kailangan isend sa akin personally, doon sa aking Facebook page, just sa teacher da. Okay, so I do hope you learned a lot today about acceleration and uh, that's the end of our discussion for the second week. I hope you learned something. 
you guys, you shared that kind of uh, goodbye and God bless you all.